Novantrone, also called mitoxantrone, is a drug used to treat multiple sclerosis, usually used to treat worsening forms of multiple sclerosis. It is a, a drug that has been used in treating patients with cancer, so it is called a chemotherapy. Um, sometimes that is a term that brings about a lot of uh, fear with the use of Novantrone. However, I remind patients that a chemotherapy is um, just a drug used to fight um, really anything. Uh, antibiotics are also called a chemotherapy. However, in the medical community, chemotherapy has been used to specially refer to drugs that fight cancer. Novantrone is one of those drugs. Um, it is given in a fixed dosing schedule, usually every three months, at a dose that is used um, and calculated by something called the body surface area. It is FDA approved and it has to generally be given by someone who has experience giving that particular drug or drugs similar to it. So it is usually given either at a specialized MS center um, or in conjunction with a cancer doctor, an oncologist, who has special training on how to give that medication. It has side effects um, that include hair loss, um, stopping of the period in women. Um, also, it has fixed dose cardiotoxicity, so the FDA requires that prior to every dose, the um, EMUGA scan or a uh, gated ejection fraction, which is just a fancy way of saying that how much blood the heart pumps out needs to be checked um, and monitored. And it also has a remote possibility of actually causing um, a cancer long term after it's been used. Again, the initiation of Novantrone, along with any of the other medications, is a decision that is really important to be taken in conjunction with the physician who's prescribing the medica medication. It has to be an informed decision um, because of the side effects I mentioned. However, it can really work to slow the disease down. Again, it is not a cure, but it is one of the bigger, more powerful medicines that we have to help really try to stop the disease in its tracks. It is not perfect. Unfortunately, none of the drugs we have are perfect. So that is why it is so important to continue with research to eventually and hopefully find a medication that will completely stop uh, the disease from progressing.